So some real changes have happened. So first of all, we had the development, this widespread adoption of hydraulic fracturing technology. So basically to extract both natural gas and oil that was locked up in rocks. There's a lot of people who are very excited about uh, opportunities to use more natural gas uh, for energy generation, particularly in the electric sector. I think it, it does create some opportunities for us as a state and a nation because we are finding these discoveries of primarily uh, it's shale oil that's really being drilled for and natural gas is, is the byproduct of that drilling and the release of those energy sources, if you will. For natural gas, we're now producing more natural gas than we can consume, or at least within the next few years that's likely to happen. We're right around 0% net imports. So in a way you can say we're energy independent on natural gas. I think that you know what we're going through right now is kind of the excitement or the euphoria of these new discoveries. But I think we have to be cautious about that going forward as well because where there may not be first off as much uh, natural gas as we think buried underground and also we haven't really seriously looked at what that means economically. Um, so it's somewhat counter to the whole historical trend of globalization and increased interdependence to talk about trying to be more independent because in almost every other case we've tried to think about doing what we're good at comparative advantage trying to be competitive internationally um, and with energy somehow we're talking about it in a different way that we could somehow be insulated and isolated from the rest of the world which I really don't think is realistic. I think it's kind of looking at it like the same way you would look at it, your investment portfolio if it was for your retirement account or your kids college education. You want a diverse portfolio. You don't want to put all your stock in just one company. So similarly in energy I think we need to diversify our portfolio to include more solar, more wind, more biomass, more biogas as really kind of a hedge on price. I think it's going to take some public policy to really encourage more renewable energy in our state. All of our Midwestern neighbors are encouraging that though. Uh, if you look at the state of Iowa, they're now getting 30% of their energy from wind. The governor of Iowa has said he wants to be a Midwest leader in solar generation. Minnesota has just passed a solar energy mandate, which will require the utilities to purchase more solar energy. And other parts of the Midwest, uh, Kansas, uh, the Dakotas, etc., have very robust wind energy uh, generation uh, development. So Wisconsin is lagging behind, and I think unless we create some policies to encourage it, we will continue to lag behind. <laughs>